out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, we're back. Good fellow Sports TV in the building. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, I don't know how many people notice how <clears throat> Canelo is using Gennady Golovkin as a, a hitman or, or shield, you know, against Demetrius Andrade. Now, Demetrius Andrade, after Saturday, is going to have a final piece to his puzzle. We all assume Canelo going to win legit robbery. Or just straight up arm robbery. You just assume he's going to win. We know the zone is not about to let no brother go over there and beat that $330 million man, right? So let's just say he's going to beat Danny Jacobs. I think we all going to assume, it's safe to assume that's going to, that's actually what's going to happen. I mean, what's the chances of Canelo taking on two tough fights in a row? He did it with Golovkin 1, came, came off a year later with no tune up and did it. So he's done it before. But not like back to back in the same calendar year, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's probably been a while since he's done it. I don't, I don't see, you know, Canelo going in a tough Danny Jacobs fight, and then, you know, going against Golovkin without the title, or going into a Demetrius Andra fight. Nobody really peep game how Canelo Alvarez is still evading Demetrius Andra for whatever key it is. He said, "Oh, you know, Triple G got to go get a belt." You know, versus Demetrius Andrade, then I'll fight him. Triple G will play the game because Triple G, just like Canelo, is locked into a, a network deal with the zone. You know, so it'll be up to the zone to force them to do whatever they want to do. If it force, you know, Canelo to fight Golovkin because they say you got to fight Golovkin without a belt, Canelo going to do it because the bag going to be right. Or Golovkin, you got to fight Demetrius Andrade. If you don't, then, you know, we're going to have a problem. But. It's the same shit for the last five, six, seven years. No matter how much Demetrius Andrade lost to his prime or if he slipped or we never found out about him 100% because the best fight he, the best fight that he had was first uh, Vinus Monterosian and Willie Nelson. You know, and people say, well, he got to get active, build himself back up. Now he got a title. Now, if he would have beat Billy Joe, then we had, we had know exactly where he had. That was a tough fight stylistic-wise because we remember Willie Monroe Kind of got that 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 slick type of style. I think Andre is by far better, but it was a nasty style versus Billy Joe Saunders. You know what I'm saying? And I think Billy Joe and Andre would have produced another nasty uh, a nasty fight. You know what I'm saying? That's just my personal opinion. But um, you know, but Canelo never really wanted to fight Andre. Going back to 154 pound days, you know when Charlo got a strap and Andre had a strap, however however it went, he fought Lara at 155. He fought a few other guys at 155, and um, as soon as Liam Smith got that belt, they stripped Demetrius Andrade, and Liam Smith won that belt versus Liam Williams. Canelo came back down and fought for that WBO strap. You notice had, you know, Demetrius Andrade retain that strap. Canelo wasn't coming down fighting for it. For right there, for the Canelo apologies, that's a duck. Right there. Why didn't he want to fight Demetrius Andrade when he had the 154-pound belt, WBO? As soon as he got stripped due to inactivity, and Liam Smith got that belt. He came back and fought Liam Smith. Like, come on. You know, Canelo got one of the best resumes in the game. We we can't deny that. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't saying much in this era. Him and Danny Garcia got the best resumes. Outside of, uh, excuse me, outside of uh, Pacquiao, you know, because he's still active. But when you look at all the guys that Canelo ducked, you know, he's still ducking Jamal Charlo. He's still ducking Demetrius Andre, and they're on the same side of the street. So what's really going to entice? What's really going to entice, you know, uh, Charlo to come over there? Really nothing. Are you going to give me a Canelo fight or not? And the WBC is helping protect Canelo, and they're always going to protect Mexico. That's why I never understand why black people put the WBC on the pedestal. If any belt you should be put on a pedestal is the IBF. They're the most strictest belt in a station right here in Jersey, <laughs> right here in the United States. You know what I'm saying? That's the belt Americans should be put on the pedestal. That's the belt that we should be supporting. That's the belt that all the American fighters should be fighting for. We're put on the pedestal, real talk. And at some point, you know, I feel the American fighters should get together and create their own belt. Point blank period. If people want to be a superstar in boxing and want to make the most money in boxing, nine times out of ten, they got to come to America. So why not create your own belts? 
well, their own sanctioning fees. And anybody in the top 15, you know, have to pay a certain sanctioning fee. It may be small. You know, it may be, you know, 500 or 1000 not your purse. It may be real small, but it contributes to, you know, medical benefits or it contributes to whatever the situation may be, you know. You know, 401k benefits or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it should be like that. Create your own belts. Because everybody want to come here and be a star. You don't need the UK. You don't need Asia. You don't need Australia. You don't need the Philippines. You don't need Mexico. They need America. And if Americans could wake up, American fighters could wake up and bond together and do that, that would be beautiful. Because you see the WBC has a hell of a bias towards Canelo. And people forget they about to make Canelo some new type of super champion. I can't remember what they call it. But he about to get elevated to something else at 160. Then again, they're going to try to say Charlo the regular champion. Canelo, this is my guess, is this super champ. And that's how they're going to try to play it, you know, try to protect Canelo from Jamal Charlo. But all I'm saying is why ain't nobody exposed why Canelo don't want to fight Demetrius Andrade. Now, I know Demetrius Andrade ain't a likable person. People say he ducked this guy, he ducked Charlo. Some people think he ducked Lara. I'm not 100% sure on that situation. It was so much back and forth. But Lara has historically fought the better competition. You know what I'm saying? They fought the amateurs, whatever happened. But my whole thing is... You know, why nobody asking why Canelo can't directly fight Demetrius Andrade? There's no disconnect there. They're on the same network, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you're fighting Eddie Hearn fighter now. What's the point of fighting with Danny Jacobs? What's the point of fighting Demetrius Andrade? But you know what they don't, know, they don't like about Andrade? It's kind of the unknown. He's kind of like an enigma. You don't really know what you're going to get from him. You know what I'm saying? He's difficult to really prepare for because nobody ever really seen him actually uh, put in work at the highest level. Some guys raise their game. Some guys raise their game to 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 new heights when they fight, you know, good competition. And some people play uh, up and down to their competition. Demetrius Andrade might want to be those one be, might be one of those fighters that really get in there, work out hard, and, and have a good camp because they know Demetrius Andrade. If anybody can emulate what Floyd did to the closest T, you know, it's gonna be Demetrius Andrade. You know what I'm saying? That's who's gonna be. Slick fighter, decent feet. He got size 56 feet, but decent feet. And that's why Golovkin don't want to fight him. You know, if Golovkin, you know, Golovkin don't matter. His bag is going to be his bag. His deal is locked in. With or without Demetrius Andrade, the zone got to pay him the bag. He now, all of a sudden, he went from bag season to work, from strap season to bag season. You know, and Canelo, they preaching undisputed. They preaching undisputed, but they want Golovkin to go take out Andrade. Could Golovkin? Yeah, it's a good chance he could. We don't know about the uh you know Demetrius Andrade punching punch resistance or you know if he can take it to the body, but I tell you if he can if he get to uh if that Joker get to five and six and he get in the groove, oh he gonna watch Triple G. If not, make that nigga quit. All they doing is let Demetrius Andrade build up more power, build up more stamina, and they they gonna let him kind of get in his prime. You know his prime probably gonna be short, but they don't want to see that phase. So if Jamal the people saying Jamal Charlo need to come to the zone. Come to the zone. Shit, you know, Andrade on the zone, he ain't going to get that fight. They trying to use Golovkin to go fight Andrade. Canelo still been ducking him. Canelo still been ducking Charlo. This all go down at 54. Jamil Charlo was supposed to fight him in San Antonio. They ducked him and gave him James Kirkland. So Jamil Charlo wrote his release from Golden Boy and left. You know? So this ain't nothing new. You know, Canelo protector going to come and say... Well, you know, what do you... Nobody trying to hear that, bro. He ducking black fighters. You know what I'm saying? Period. period. After the scar with, scare with Lara, scare with Trout, and he got beat by Mayweather, he ain't trying to see no black fighters. And people say, well, Canelo was improved. So how we know he improved? Because he fought a punching bag in Chavez? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he fought a stiff in Gennady Golovkin? That don't mean you improve. You didn't you improve shit versus a black fighter. You improve. you could dominate... A black fighter that still got his faculties. And all that man going to continue to duck Demetrius Andrade. I'm telling you. And, and he, he ain't going to unify. He can't move up. People going to forget he was talking about he wanted to unify the division. And it's cool. It's just going to be evidence 105,000 against Canelo Alvarez. You know? So with him, you know, why are you trying to use, you know, Golovkin as a lead blocker? Go ahead and take Andrade out for yourself. Give him an opportunity. But that boy almost 6'3", 6'2", long, and you really don't know what he's going to bring to the table because he ain't never been the fight of this magnitude. So it is what it is, man. It's Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget 
Check out our sponsor, The Hillblaze, thehillblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one box to get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. Check them out, man. They got everything all natural. They make them right here. They sell, so it ain't being imported from nowhere. And don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or a video request. Appreciate the love and support. Best way to donate is to share the videos if you want to donate.